Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has just recently released the fifth beta of iOS 18. Now we're now on two different betas for iOS 18. We're currently on the first beta of 18.1 and we are now on the fifth beta of iOS 18 and this is an amazing update. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at some details regarding iOS 18 beta 5. We can see here the build number, which is 22A5326F. Now we're getting closer to, of course, that RC version and the final release of iOS 18. So you will see the letters right there just moving up, which is really great. And the size of this update, if you're moving from beta 4 to beta 5, it should be somewhere around 1.5 to 2 gigs of course always depending which device you're using and now let's go ahead and talk about some of the new features and changes of the new ios 18 beta 5. first of all we're starting from the lock screen on the lock screen you will notice here that the glyph icons for the buttons are now a bit smaller they actually have changed on different ways compared to those on the control center but we're going to talk about that in a second but you will notice here the icons are a bit smaller from ios 18 beta 4 to beta 5. and if you're trying to add a new wallpaper with beta 5 and you go to weather and astronomy you will see now we have a new wallpaper of course you can switch between different styles here it has all the styles of course that the others won't have but we now have a brand new wallpaper with beta 5. another cool change here on the notification center you will notice now that the icons on the notifications do actually support the dark mode that the icons have on the home screen and we have here a bunch of changes on the home screen as well first of all when you go to edit your page right here you will now also get the ability to edit the pages that you have directly from here so on the menu you now have also the ability to edit the pages you will see an updated icon there for the find my app as well as a new icon only for the dark mode for the maps app this is the third time this changes and now it looks kind of cool now with ios 18 beta 5 apple has brought a big new feature to safari this is actually an amazing feature and it's great to finally see this feature here on ios 18. it is called distraction control it basically lets you remove any like different parts of a website that do actually distract you so the way it works let's just go ahead and undo all this here so this is the website the apple website if i just see here or on any other website something that is distracting me i can tap here and then tap on hide distracting items now from here i can just go ahead and select that item tap on hide and there it goes it basically removes it from the website now what's really cool is that this will remain like this so i have just removed their two different items i can reload the website it will stay right there i can just go ahead and completely close safari go back here to that website and you can see it does remain the same with those item hidden now this won't work like this for things that are dynamic that actually get updated like ads and stuff like that so if you remove like an ad from a website it will actually show again once you reload it but for the time being it will be removed from that website now if you want to show them back you can always tap here you can just go ahead and show the items that you have hidden from that website now here we have another change here when you go to the photos picker and you're trying to upload somewhere a picture you will now see here new controls new basically new filters for your photos you can tap right there and you can choose here the filters which will of course make it much much easier for you to find the pictures that you actually want to share and probably a lot of ios users will actually love this change that apple has made to the photos app so on the photos app basically this part right here with beta 4 you will be able to swipe like this to actually go between like different pages and it will show you different collections and all that 
but with this new beta that Apple has just released, it has actually removed that feature. Now I can just swipe up and down. It will probably make it much, much easier for a lot of users to actually understand and use the new Photos app. But again, that feature was actually kind of cool. I liked it because you could put like different things there and you can just swipe from your photo library to your collections or something like that. But now it's completely removed and you will have here everything just by swiping down. And here we have another change here on the settings app. If you go to privacy and security and scroll down here, you will notice that Apple has now added stolen device protection on the settings app under the privacy and security. So basically this was a feature that was under face ID and now you will be able to actually find it here under the security settings. Apple has made a ton of changes to the control center with iOS 18 beta 5. First of all, all the different glyphs here are much bigger than they used to be on beta 4. They have again changed the gradient for the now playing media right there. And if we just go here, you will see a ton of different icons that actually have been updated and changed. Some of them have actually changed with beta 5. First of all, you will notice the low power mode. Now it shows way less battery than before. It's actually way better. And then we have a new icon, an updated icon for screen mirroring right there. We also have a new one for the seller data. And we also have a few more changes here. Let's just go to the shortcuts. You can see the shortcut icon. Now it uh, actually has a, sh a shortcut icon right there, a glyph. It used to just say like shortcut right there. Now it's much, much better. And we also have a few changes here. So let me just find another one. The live speech there icon is also updated as well. And we have a ton of different like different icons that have been updated with this beta. It's pretty cool actually to see Apple just putting more time into the control center and just like adding these nice details because with iOS 18, as you know, we have this brand new control center, which is in my opinion is pretty cool. But now with these little changes, they are making it even better. We also have here an updated icon for the orientation lock, because you can notice the arrow right there has been updated as well. So these are the new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 18 beta 5. But what to expect in the future? Well, we of course have now beta 6 and there will be also beta 2 for iOS 18.1. So for iOS 18, I'm expecting Apple to actually move into a weekly schedule. So I would expect Apple to release a new beta for iOS 18 right here on the 12th of August. That should be beta 6 of iOS 18. And then probably the next day, most likely on the 13th or maybe even the 14th, we should also see the second beta of iOS 18.1, which should actually bring some more Apple intelligence features to iOS 18. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one.